This is Renee with Family Food Lifestyle and today we're going to make a strawberry cobbler. Um, you start here, I've got the ingredients here. I have four cups of strawberries, one cup of sugar, and a half a cup of water. This is for the strawberry sauce. Then I have eight tablespoons of butter, one and a half cups of flour, one and a half cups of milk, and a cup of sugar. That's for the crust. So you're going to start by turning a. So I'm going to start by turning the saucepan on to medium, a little bit higher, about six on the stove. We're going to add in the four cups of berries. Now I'm using strawberries. You can use, you know, raspberries, blackberries, just any kind of berries. You can also mix the kind of the different kinds of berries as long as you have four cups. And then you add one cup of sugar and half a cup of water. Now you want to bring this to a boil and then once it starts boiling you want to turn it down and you're going to need to simmer this for about 10 minutes and then it'll be ready to pour on top of the crust. So the berries are coming to a boil we're going to go ahead and work on the crust. So I've got a 9 by 12 casserole dish so first of all I'm going to spray this with just some non-stick cooking spray. Now normally you would put the eight tablespoons of butter in the pan and put it in the microwave and melt it, but my pan doesn't fit in my microwave, so I'm going to go ahead and melt this first, and then I'll come right back. Okay, so I melted my eight tablespoons of butter here, so I'm just going to pour this into the bottom of the pan. And you just want to make sure that it spreads all over the pan, so... Next we're going to work on the crust, so I'm going to take my one and a half cups of flour, add my cup of sugar. I forgot to tell you in the ingredients that the flour that you use on this recipe needs to be self-rising flour. Um, that way, because you put the crust in first and then the berries on the top of it, that way the crust will rise up through the berries. So if you use regular flour, the crust won't rise. So you want to make sure you're using self-rising flour. So. So anyways, I've got the flour and the sugar mixed together, and now you just want to slowly add the milk. So I'm going to add a little bit, and then stir this up, and it's going to get pretty thin once you get all the milk added into this. Okay, looks like we've got it pretty good here. So I'm going to pour this just into the pan. The crust is ready here. I'm just going to set this off to the side and the berries are just about to that boiling stage so we're going to turn them down and just go ahead and let them start simmering for 10 minutes and then when we get done we're going to scoop these on top of the crust. I also have the oven preset for 350 so that we can cook this in the oven when we get the sauce is all ready so I've got the pan ready here with the dough in it so the crust we're just going to start ladling the berries over the top of the crust like I said you're just going to put all of this in here and then while it cooks the crust will rise up through the berries so I'm just going to keep ladling here takes about uh, 30 to 45 minutes to cook. I'm just going to pour the rest of this over the top of this. So, just want to make sure that you evenly distribute all the berries over the top of all the crust. So. It's been 30 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and check the cobbler. As you can see, the crust is starting to come through. Uh, the berries, you can still see the berries circulating through there, but uh, the crust needs to get a little bit darker. So we're going to go ahead and put it back in, go ahead and cook it for that additional 15 minutes, and then we'll come back and show you what it looks like. And an additional 15 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and take the cobbler out. And as you can see, the crust is a lot browner. Now you're going to need to let this sit for a few minutes so that it, the sauce will thicken up some. 
Um, it's best, if you want, you can serve it like this. You could put it with ice cream or whipped cream. This is Renee with Family Food Lifestyle. And visit our website at familyfoodlifestyle.com and find this and other recipes. Hope you enjoy it.